Welcome to another bug commentary video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what seems to be the trend of a lot of technology companies these days. They seem to be just hiring a bunch of third-party um, customer service centers instead of having in-house customer service center. And as always, I'm going to give my opinion on it and maybe just for this one video, I don't think there's much analysis on this about it. So, with a lot of your name brand manufacturers, a lot of, as the intro said, a lot of them are now just no longer, are now just having contractors or just letting third party customer support agents dedicated people do the customer support and the manufacturer themselves all they do is manufacture the product and ship it out and ship it out and that's it or uh, even as you know sometimes even for some manufacturer i'm not going to say any name sometimes don't even have customer service support dedicated people the only people is like, oh, we just some random public e support email that we just gonna market as support, and we really don't have anyone really doing the customer support. And whoever has, whoever wants somehow want to do customer service, that's not part of their job. Yeah, here's that email e box for you to to do. Hmm. A lot of times. In this effort, you end up with local distributors end up having to do the customer service within warranty or without the warranty. As most of these distributors, as their name suggests, they are there to be distributing products. They are not there to be hand-holding customers doing customer support. For the customers, uh, for the distributors that are doing this, for the brands that they're doing distribution for, really good props to you. But guess what? You shouldn't be really having to do that. The brand themselves should be the one that's doing the customer support, not you as the distributor, as clearly you are being shafted by the, pr by the product that you're... Or by the company that you're doing distribution for. Or, or in my experience, all the distributors that I unfortunately have to deal with, they don't seem to be trained to be, you know, customer service guys at all. They just seem to be a fucking bunch of people be like, oh, huh? Wait, wait, wait. Customer service is part of our job. Oh, I thought we were just here to be. I thought we were just never going to need to talk to customers. Because we didn't sign up. They didn't sign up to deal with customers. For those companies that are doing this to their distributor, you need to stop. You either need to have a dedicated individual... That is in those lo distributor locations. Be like, hey, if any customer rocks up, hey. You, or one of the guy that in distributor, make sure you have one guy on staff that is trained in customer service and they can deal with this. The other part, other trend with tech company is they hire third party you know, customer service agent. All they're doing is, those guys, they just follow the script, and if you ask a question that is not within the script, those guys cannot ask the question, and when you, they, the, if that you do get a RM warranty guy that is willing to try and get your answer, you end up spending weeks, weeks, and maybe even months of Playing the telephone game between the manufacturer and the 
And the call center, manufacturer, call center, manufacturer, call center, manufacturer, call center. You end up just a bunch of wasting both your customer time and both wasting the the good so the good the uh, the call center employees time because you just don't want to save money and you thought oh this is going to save me money when in fact this could end up backfiring on you as you just ended up paying the uh, this could end up and give your brand the bad reputation you guys have a bad customer service this for God, oh God, please, if you're going to do any of this, please take some of the, my suggestion and be like, hmm, fix it. You guys really, really, if you're going to have third party or distributors, uh, you really need to have that one manager that is on hand, that is your employee, so that they know what the heck goes on. So that they can get an answer without needing to play the fucking telephone game. Which is really, really going to improve both your brand reputation when people need to have access to customer service. In my opinion, this have bad customer service and bad warranty support just end just ends up with a never ending of overconsumption cycle unnecessary waste cycle that we a lot of the manufacturers are trying to get a drill into the consumers because guess what because customers that don't warranty during warranty period is good for the company not surprised because because they just keep buying new product, keep buying new product, and the old broken, the product that is broken even during warranty or after warranty, well, guess what? They are now throwing them into e-waste, even though they could be repairable by first party or third party, certified or non-certified. Unfortunately, most consumers are like, yeah, I'm not willing to put in the effort to repair our product or do the warranty of this product and I'll just go buy a new one and in, as they know the customer service experience for their brand is awful and garbage and for the people that are willing to put up with it those brands they know those customers are willing to put up with these garbage services and unfortunately those guys just get Got more trash, more bad, more bad, more bad, and or just goes they don't improve as because they it's well the customer's just not worth upgrading your customer service when it makes you no money because shocking when you have to warranty a product it makes you no money and potentially could be negative or could lose you money in the long run when a customer warranties their product. Hey, hey, what does majority of these fucking corporations love? Profit. Anything that stops them from making profit, they don't put any effort unless legally, and the only reason they even have warranty service is I bet your asshole legal. I bet you if there was no law saying they have to give Customer support, I get, I bet you, every fucking brand would tell you, fuck you, customer, go buy our own product, or go buy another product. We don't want to fucking repair or give any customer service to you. As one, it's not profitable for me and the company to be giving you customer service. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. Well, if you enjoy this video, if you do, you know, press the like and subscribe button. And if you want to grow this community, share the vi share this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.